say that. I like usually if I give up a first takedown, it's always like it's my my fault. I made a mistake, and you know I just don't like giving up like little points like that. It just kind of really gets to me. I mean, like you just come at the guy harder. You know, you just I don't know. It's kind of an ego thing. It's you just you know guys, our egos are so fragile, and you know. You, it's like a bubble, you touch it, pops, and you know, you just want to freak out. And you just see nothing but red. That's, that's kind of how it is. Yeah, and then again, it's, you know, there's, there's a lot of other things I can do on top. It's just yeah. when I'm on the match, for some reason, I always just click cradle, 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 cradle. Like I'm just carrying that all the time. And then that's just what I go for. But other than that, you know, I, don't know, I guess he was kind of schooled in me. <laughs> but I think he wasn't schooled in the tilt. <laughs> We're trying to talk about what went into that optional start there in the third period. That oh, yeah, that's just a new rule that they, I think they started two years ago. Not a lot of people do it, but whenever the guy has a choice of bottom, instead of, you know, wasting three or four seconds, you know, letting the guy up whenever you're planning to let him up, you can just show the rep, let's go neutral, give the guy a point, start on your feet. So, you know, Coach, Coach Casey's like, get one more takedown, get the major, or, you know, so that's pretty much what I did. One dual meet remaining in that call. Is that kind of a weird feeling? Oh, it's super weird. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it won't hit me until after the season, though. But, you know, it's just part of the season now. But next year, whenever I'm not wrestling in rat call, you know, that's the that's when it's really going to hit me. You know, he shot and I reshot and, you know, got my, got my angle that I wanted. And, you know, it was all from there. Just go behind, get to the legs. Dylan, what did it feel like for you to get back out there and, and kind of go back after it, uh, you know, in a dual meet setting? And, and what was the process for you to to wrestle today to, to get that spot back? Um, you know, I just been training last month and you know always moving forward and working to the for my, to my goal to be a national champion. Uh, the process was uh, just to make it fair for everybody, just uh, just to wrestle off and see where it went from there. And uh, I mean, I was doing what I, what I could, just to get back in, back in the action. And just excited. What did, what did you see there? Uh, I mean, it looked like he had, had control. Was that kind of what you guys saw? Well, it's a close call, and that's uh, our, you know, our right to have him review it, and that's what we did. You're 0 for 2 on that. I know. <laughs> Did you look at the screen? You said last time. I couldn't see it. They turned it away yeah, from me. Yeah, last time you said maybe you weren't supposed to look at it. Yeah, I figured that out. <laughs> but, um, yeah. You got to, you know, you got to try if you think uh, you got to fight for what you believe in, I guess, right? Do you like the rule? The, the review, I don't personally like the review, but, um, you know, if it's there, <coughs> uh, you know, we'll use it to help our guys. It, as much as we can, I guess. So I just, did you, uh, did you assess the play of what was been said first time back in about a month? And it seemed like Andrew seemed a little bit tired at the end. Do you think time off hurt him at all? Um, well, yeah, I mean, obviously Andrew wasn't himself. Um, why that is, uh, we'll figure that out. But, um, you know, a lot of it's just, you know, making the decision that you're ready and deciding <coughs> to be focused. and. Um, you know, a lot of it's a mental game, obviously, and uh, I think he just needs some time to, uh, you know, get back to where he wants to be. And he could do that in a in a snap of the fingers, or you know, maybe it might take a few matches. But, um, but he's in good shape. You know, he trains hard. It's just a matter of uh, making that decision and and you know, doing what it takes to just go out there and enjoy yourself. You know, when he's enjoying himself and. Uh, wrestling, he's so smooth and talented. He can, you know, he can score from any position. Great scrambler, but I mean, you could see in his face he wasn't really, um, wasn't all all there tonight. So uh, that's just the way it is. But Dylan, uh, you know, he knew he had a big match, and you know, he did a great job. Conditioning was something that he's <coughs> learning to use in his advantage, I think, in those in those tight matches, and that's just something that he's he's worked on, and. Uh, He's getting better at, but you know that was a tough opponent. I think he was, you know, rightfully won the the original Riley Award just because it, you know uh, James Green's a very good, very good wrestler. And they wrestled three times, and all three matches have been very similar. You know, it's a last second, last second uh, score. 
How impressed were you with, with Ruth's offense, especially the three tilts coming from the from standing position? Uh, well, he's 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 very good at that. He's got uh, such a great grip that he can, you know, he can do that. Um, that's certainly not something we work on in practice. That's just you know, that's just Ruth, just like his cradle. You know, he's he's an exceptional uh, has exceptional strength, and uh, he just has to be careful because he even though he's looking for a turn up there and he's active, you know, the the way they call stalling is, you know, he gets he seems to get called for stalling every once in a while, even though he's probably got more turns from that position than anybody in the country. He's not stalling, but it's just a technicality uh, in the rules. But he did a nice job. He, he you know, when he started moving and, and doing what he does, he was getting in deep on the legs and did a nice job. Uh, he, had, he had a tough opponent, obviously. That kid's, uh, kid's a tough kid, experienced, real strong, um, solid. And uh, Ruth, Ruth uh, you know, after giving up the first takedown, just kept bugging away and you know, ended, I think he ended up getting that tech ball, which is good to see. I like just the blue. I like this is who we are, this is what we wear, but you know, it's just four years of kids <laughs> pretty much begging to wear those white singlets and we finally decided to let them wear the white singlet. So, um, I mean, I'm just like, hey, this is Penn State, this is our singlet. I don't like switching singlets up, um, but that's just me personally, but you know, it's not all about me, I guess. So, you know, we're doing what the kids want to do. And they, that's why we had the camo singlets earlier and, you know, obviously to honor our, uh, you know, our armed forces. But, um, yeah, it's fun for the guys to change things up. Do you feel like this team is, is ready for the challenge of wrestling at Iowa in front of the hostile crowd against a team that like good? Uh, I'm, I'm excited about it. You know, I think, uh, uh, you know, we'll see. You know, we'll see. Uh, you just don't get many opportunities in, in your wrestling career. I mean, we're fortunate to have that atmosphere here every one of our matches. Um, so I don't see it as being uh, that big of a deal. But, um, you know, I love Carver Hawkeye. You know, I haven't had a lot of success there as, my, as a, you know, but I knew when I was an athlete at Iowa State, we wanted, you know, we wanted to beat those guys. That was, that's the rivalry. So I have, a, you know, probably a unique uh, uh, perspective. And, um, you know, we want to get in there and do what we can do. But, you know, they'll have, you know, 15, 14, I don't know, it depends on, but they, uh, last year I was at Iowa State, they had 16,000 fans there, it was the, the record, but it wasn't the noisiest time, you know, because we, we wrestled pretty good. Uh, not very, not great, good enough, we lost, but, um, so it kind of just depends on, just like here, you know, if they come out here and they, they uh, wrestle well, the opposing team, our, you know, our crowd's silent. So it all just depends on how you go in there and compete. And, have a good time, but I'm excited for these guys because it's a challenge. You know, we, we, we need to be challenged. Uh, you know, Ed Luke needs to be challenged. David Taylor, well, he's been challenged, but he thrives on that. You know, these guys thrive on it, and uh, there's no better place outside of Rec Hall and wrestle than you know Carver.